An elderly Tampa man badly beaten in broad daylight left to die in his own backyard. And as if that weren't bad enough, the thug who beat him stole the man's SUV and his wallet. Paul Mueller joining us live tonight from the Tampa Police Department with the latest on this story. All right, Paul, tell me police are getting closer to catching this hooligan. Yeah, can you believe this story, Keith? Tonight, Tampa police are going all out. They are searching for the suspect in this case. But at the same time, they're looking for this guy right here. Not a suspect, they say, but a person of interest. This is 47-year-old Carlos Cordero. And with all this going on, they're also looking for the victim's stolen SUV. There, man, whatever that guy do, it was really gruesome, man. Neighbors in this tight-knit community on North 20th Street in Tampa in disgust, asking themselves what would trigger someone to beat 81-year-old Alfred Watton so badly he's fighting for his life. Family members asked us not to show their faces. He's a, he's a very kind man and um, really wouldn't harm anybody. And to have him, you know, apparently being assaulted is just uh, unconscionable. The beating took place Wednesday afternoon in Watton's backyard. He wouldn't be found until hours later, bleeding, unconscious, in the hot Florida sun for hours. I was like... Or who in the hell could do this? I live here for 20 years, man. I, I never see something like this happen, you know? Family and neighbors believe whoever did this was a regular here in the neighborhood, that he'd come around a lot, that he'd look for odd jobs, and people like Mr. Watton just wanted to help him out. It appears to be that he was just basically a predator looking for his opportunity. Now, police are looking for this guy, 47-year-old Carlos Alberto Cordero, a person of interest. Cops also searching for Watton's SUV. Whoever beat him then stole it. It's a red Kia Sedona, like this one, with Florida tag Z4SWC. Just somebody that does not need to be out there. Um, he's a threat. Oh, I just, oh, God, just, you know, help him. All right, although family members and neighbors believe that the attacker may be the guy who did all the odd uh, jobs, Keith, police have yet tonight to confirm that. Well, it brings up an interesting point, uh, because if this is true, it sounds like this is a crime of opportunity where the suspect knew that he could count on people in this neighborhood giving him work. Had he worked for Watton mm -hmm. before, Mr. Watton? Yeah, there's several times the family says, you know, but the big question, Keith, I think right here is what triggered everything to go down like this yesterday? And the answer to this really could blow the case wide open. That's why they want to find this person of interest. Thank you for the report. Paul Mueller, live at Tampa PD.